portion of our course, Intro to Computer Science, we're going to be using a graphical tool called Jeru. Jeru is a subset of Java. Our goal in using this tool is to help make it easier for you to eventually learn Java, which is the next language we're going to cover. What you see here is the home website for Jeru. To get here from any tab, we just type jeru.org. And that brings us to this home page here. As you can see, Jeru is currently hosted by Georgia Tech. In a previous slide, we discussed how to download Jeru onto your computer by clicking on this link and following the directions. But if you're doing this course at school, it is likely that Jeru has already been loaded onto your computer. Let's go back now to the home page and scroll down a little bit and see that there's a tab here on the left called Activities and Assignments. We're going to be doing most of these activities as is for the next month in class. So let's click on this tab. And you can see here that we have three sets of activities, beginning activities, intermediate activities, and advanced activities. Since we're going to be doing almost all of these, the easiest thing for us to do is to download this file, which already has all the activities bundled together. So when I click on this, a version of the zip file is downloaded into the downloads folder of my PC. Let's have a look at it. Here it is right here. Of course the files that we want to install are not going to be zipped, we want them unzipped, so I'm going to double click on this. And now we see that we have this other folder that contains all the Drew activities. What I want to do is I want to take this folder Drew activities and drag it into my Drew stuff folder. This Jeru stuff folder happens to be located on my desktop, but if you're working on this at school, it is a much better idea to take this Jeru stuff folder and have it located in the cloud. In other words, on your numbered drive. That way, you'll be able to reach these files from any particular PC workstation you might be working on that particular day in class. Let's have a look inside this folder now and we see that our recently moved Drew activities are here. Clicking on this folder shows that the beginning activities are in their own folder while the rest are scattered throughout. If I click on the beginning activities folder, I see that there is a Word document that contains a description of each of the problem statements and these .jev files which represent different island configurations that we'll be talking about in a later video. Before we leave this video, Let's double click on this Word document and have a quick look at the instructions for the beginning activities. Here, we see that there is a problem statement for each of the six activities we're going to be doing for the beginning activities. The first activity we're going to do is to create the letter J by planting a bunch of flowers in an open field. You'll see instructions for this in the videos that follow.